Greetings. So I was just talking with the gentleman that I um, am enlisting his services to tend to the yard. And he saw all of this along the side and he told me, he said, well, he said, you know, within the price, I'll also um, treat the weeds. And I looked at him and I said, you will not. <laughs> you will do no such a thing. And so, um, you know, I just moved. So what I did, I allowed the grass to grow because I wanted to see, you know, what's actually growing, what can be used, what's um, harvestable. And I came across all of these quote unquote weeds along the side of my uh, azalea bushes, which have not sprouted or bloomed yet. <laughs> I don't know that they will because my other azalea bush already bloomed and it's already um, dropping the flowers. But um, I came across a couple of things. Um, this first thing here that looks like uh, dandelion, because in initially I thought it was, but um, it's called sow thistle. And um, it's pretty good for um, diarrhea. Um, I also believe that it's good for um, the nerves. I believe it's a nervine. I haven't studied it enough to know as much but I'm gonna let it go for a while before I decide to do anything with it but the main thing that caught my eye and which is unmistakable for me is um, all of these cleavers <laughs> there are cleavers growing in patches and it really has me wanting to let me see over here here's a big patch here I just may cut the azalea bushes down and allow the cleavers to just flourish. I mean, I'd rather have a plant or a herb that is useful and productive as opposed to just beauty. So look at that. There's a whole patch of them. There's even more over here. So yeah, I think I'm a figure out how I'm going to um, right now I'm going to harvest some and, and utilize it but um, I think I am going to at least get rid of one or two of these azalea bushes and allow the cleavers to go ahead and uh, do what they do once they start dropping seed I mean they can be invasive but for me like I love it you know <laughs> try to get a, a, a pound of cleavers online you know what I'm saying and you're going to pay pay a couple dollars I mean right now a lot of herbs are being scarce so you know it, it's very helpful to um, allow your yard and your your grass to grow to see exactly what you know pops up um, I don't know what this one is I think it's some type of I think they said hawk's beard or something like that but yeah I'm definitely got to get in my books and do a little bit of studying and see what's going on out here and but right now the quote-unquote weeds stay. <laughs> All right, family, I'll say.